We all face now with a common crisis, a common challenge, Auch die Coronavirus-Krise wurde bei dem heutigen Treffen zwischen US-Außenminister Mike Pompeo und dem österreichischen Außenminister Alexander Schallenberg diskutiert. In order to advance in our fight against this pandemic. Gemeinsam will man eben gegen die Corona-Pandemie kämpfen. In this sense, I all the more welcome the fact that the strategic talks between the United States and Russia are taking place and are taking place here in, in Vienna. And we obviously hope that they will lead to a positive conclusion and we urge all other nuclear uh, weapon states to join these efforts led by the United States uh, in order to make, to make our world a little bit safer. Nuklearlösungen gemeinsam mit Russland wird diskutiert und da hofft Alexander Schallenberg auf positive Ausgänge der Gespräche. It's no secret that obviously any friendship doesn't mean that you are uh, you'll be 100% on every topic. Um, there are issues Schallenberg where we betont, do not agree, nicht zu 100% uh, stimmt Österreich allen politischen Entscheidungen der USA zu. Pipeline project um, where we deeply regret obviously the the territorial sanctions imposed by the United States and we would rather uh, uh, endeavor on or, or, or pursue the way of bilateral talks to find a solution, a common solution on this ground, uh, on this matter, but I believe that it is a sign of our friendship that we can actually very openly talk about these issues and, and address them together. Um, it is hard to say what we touched upon in our discussions because we, we went from Libya to the Eastern Mediterranean uh, developments in the Eastern Mediterranean, the Western Balkans, the wider Middle East, but let me start by congratulating you on uh, the breakthrough concerning the agreement on full normalization of relations between Israel and the United Arab Emirates. I believe this is a very encouraging message coming out of the region, which has been poor in encouraging messages in the last uh, months and years. And we hope that more positive messages will follow. Because we have a further discussion planned over dinner, um, we consider that the United States are an indispensable uh, partner for us to keep the region stable and to enable the region to have an economic fruitful development. And we very much welcome the continued U.S. engagement. And I just heard that beginning of September there will be new talks. Uh, Pristina, Belgrade, in the US, in Washington. So this is something where we have the feeling that the European Union and the Americans together uh, have to stand side by side in order to get this very European region closer to the European Union. Um, one issue which we discussed in particular was the development in the Eastern Mediterranean, including Turkey. Um, I have to say that Austria is very concerned about the dangerous and alarming situation which we believe could easily escalate. And we will have a discussion this afternoon among the foreign ministers of the European Union. And I know that my Greek colleague, Nikos Dendias, is here in Vienna too. He will meet you and I will meet him just after this press conference. This is a topic of high urgency and high importance for everybody and especially for the European Union. I believe that the actions taken uh, by certain states in the Mediterranean, from Libya, Syria, to North Iraq, uh, even the reclassification of a world-renowned monument, the Hagia Sophia, as a new mosque, should lead the European Union to reevaluate its relations with Turkey. Um, last but not least, um, one issue I would like to raise is, is the situation in Belarus. Um, Austria and the European Union over the last couple of years had made it the task to reach out to Belarus, to extend a hand to Minsk. And that's why the situation and the development we have seen in the last couple of days is so disappointing. It's a huge step backwards. And I'm deeply worried about the events unfolding in Minsk and in other cities. I call upon the state authorities in uh, Belarus to immediately stop violence and the arbitrary detentions of peaceful demonstrators, demonstrators and journalists. Die mit Russland um, müssten vorangetrieben werden, um, wie Mike Pompeo sagt. 
is not sufficient. Further steps are needed. And I believe the one thing this country needs most is the start of a meaningful, comprehensive national dialogue. Ein vorsichtiger Dialog muss eben gestartet werden. Und Schallenberg bedankt sich für die positiven Gespräche mit dem US-Außenminister Mike Pompeo. Und nun gibt er das Wort an Mike Pompeo weiter. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. You have the floor. Uh, thank you, Foreign Minister Schallenberg. I greatly appreciate you and Chancellor Kurtz hosting me here. Uh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> pretty nice things. Uh, and a wonderful lunch with your team as well. I appreciated that very much. Uh, thanks for making this day possible. It's important. Austria is a Schallenberg, a true force for democratic ideals. Free enterprise and stability in the heart of Europe. I met with business leaders this morning, many of whom have invested in creating jobs in the United States Europa and are growing their business from both sides of the Atlantic together. An important part of what uh, we all do uh, because of the nature of our two countries. Our, our relationship has only grown stronger uh, since Chancellor Kurz's visit to the White House in February of, of last year. I had the pleasure of inaugurating the Friendship Tram. Die Freundschaft ist was die österreichischen und amerikanischen Beziehungen eben symbolisieren soll, hat ihn heute bereits uh, eingeweiht, das ist eben auch eine große Ehre. Uh, thanks for your kind words about the agreement that President Trump and Prime Minister Netanyahu and Sheikh Mohammed uh, bin Zayed reached yesterday. It was an important step forward for Middle East stability, something President Trump has put at the top of his agenda. I know we talk with our European counterparts often about how to do this. It was a good moment for the world and its security. Uh, we, we talked about a whole broad range of issues. Uh, look, right here uh, in Vienna at the OSC, our team is fighting hard to hold Russia and many other participating states accountable to their international commitments on human rights and fundamental freedoms. We hope to hold the Human Dimension Implementation Meeting this year, consistent with health requirements. We ask all members to support us in that effort. We look forward to working with Austria and the EU to find strong, competent new leadership for the OSC's top position as well something we've chatted about. Uh, critically, too, uh, I, we talked with our Austrian counterparts this morning uh, on our support for IA Director General Grossi's critical mission to ensure that all countries comply with their international nuclear safeguard requirements. That mission is all the more important, given the Islamic Republic of Iran's government's questions about its nuclear activities. The international community must speak with a single voice. Iran must provide full, transparent, and immediate cooperation with the IAEA. So too, we asked the Iran Pläne des Irans wurden eben auch diskutiert. The arms embargo on Tehran. We we can't allow the world's biggest state sponsor of terrorism to buy and sell weapons. I mean, that's just nuts. Uh, we talked about communist China too. It was the subject of our talk. From these nuclear arms discussions that we've been having, the strategic conversations here in Vienna, that the Austrian people have been so wonderful in supporting. Uh, I want to thank you personally, Minister Schallenberg, for all the help you have given. Er bedankt sich eben bei Außenminister Schallenberg für den freundlichen Empfang. To come be part of this important conversation for the world's safety, to reduce the risk from the world's most dangerous weapons. We also spent some time talking about those trade and uh, investment opportunities, the ties between our two countries, and our objectives regarding Israel. Die besten Venezuela, Möglichkeiten der beiden Staaten gegenseitig wurden diskutiert. Uh, our, our relationship, uh, in spite of what the media will say sometimes, uh, our, our relationship is built upon a set of values, and the things that we agree on and work on together far outweigh the things where we have different views. I, I uh, have one more great uh, treat this morning. I, I want to announce that the Department of Defense has now approved Austria for the State Partnership Program, a program through which the United States National Guard and military forces uh, ally with partner nations around the world. Uh, welcome. Uh, this will be a great uh, to our relationship. I want to give special thanks to Defense Minister Tanner uh, for his support in this, uh, working to get that off the ground. Uh, for Mr. Thank you for inviting me here. Mr. Tanner, bedankt er sich, dass er in diesem Partnership-Programm mitgearbeitet hat. Thank you.